This is AJ from 88.5 FM, and I am pleased to welcome Joachim Joyner. And he's a saxophonist, a producer, an author, a dad. I'm sure I'm leaving out plenty of stuff. <laughs> Hello, AJ. How are you this afternoon? <laughs> Doing great and pretty excited that you're coming down to South Orange County for... Uh, part of the meet me at the cinema sort of valentine's experience uh down here in sinopolis in laguna niguel mm -hmm. yeah yeah i'm looking forward it's been a long time since i've done show down in laguna um actually they have the laguna arts uh, uh thing um the pageant of the masters and um the other uh thing down there laguna we used to play down there uh, with our band so it's going to be cool to get back down to laguna and gal and uh and play for you guys <laughs> so i understand it's going to be sort of a smaller more intimate venue and of course you've always been des described as the sexy soulful saxophonist <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. People have been calling me that lately since I, I went on and put out this album called Touch, which is uh, just a totally romantic, sexy, sexy, grown and sexy album. So now everyone is calling me the the this romantic uh, saxophone player or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, sure, I'll take it. And I'm going to bring that down to uh, Laguna Niguel at the cinema. So it's going to be a very intimate setting. Um, and I like, actually, I love intimate settings because I, I get to see you guys close up. And it's, you know, it's, it brings a lot of pleasure <laughs> to artists like myself. So your latest single is called Dance Again. I'm sh sure you'll be sharing that with everybody. Yes, yes, Dance Again. Um, that's uh, my most recent single. And that's one of those upbeat kind of Latin, um, but it has like a urban club vibe to it. I think people are really going to dig it. I'm playing my soprano on it and it's got a really nice melody, some excellent um, nylon acoustic guitar playing on it. So it's a real fun upbeat tune. You probably heard it on uh, Sirius XM or one of the other stations, but uh, that's the latest single. <laughs> So um, you your music is influenced by a lot of different things, um, soul, R&B, gospel. Um, tell us how, kind of how you got there. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I arrived at gospel first before I arrived at jazz, before I arrived at Latin jazz, before I arrived at even classical. <laughs> I mean, um, you know, I, I grew up listening to uh, just a wide variety of musicians, singers, uh, piano players, saxophonists. In fact, I didn't even think I was going to play the saxophone. Um, I always thought I was going to be a drummer, believe it or not. Um, I remember going to uh, high school asking if I could be in the high school band as a drummer and the music teacher telling me that I couldn't do that because they had enough drummers and I had to choose something else. And, um, you know, I chose the instrument that uh, seemed to be the most challenging and the most expensive <laughs> <laughs> turned out to be the saxophone. <laughs> I, I remember um, my music teacher gave me a tape and on a the tape there was um, Grover Washington Jr., Charlie Parker, John Coltrane, Oscar Peterson, and a host of many other artists that really sent me on a direction in music that I could have never imagined honestly totally forgot about the drums and all of a sudden here's me in this really loud saxophone that I'm playing that the science teacher is telling me that they can hear me because I'm playing so loud <laughs> 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 and um, I took the thing seriously and, and it turns out that's my career now <laughs> well and it, it's such a career it's been you've had some uh, billboard charting songs and billboard charting album and um you've really made yourself a name in jazz but um what's next i mean have you tried maybe laying down a drum track on one of your songs uh, or you well, know a, a lot of a lot of jazz artists right now seem to be branching out to other instruments and i think with the lockdown and everything there's been a lot of experimentation so uh mm -hmm. mm. are you venturing out about that. you know um i have been getting back into piano a lot more um i also play the flute 
Um, drums, you know, I honestly totally forgot about the drum set. Um, I do program a lot of my drums on my songs that people hear. Uh, but uh, I just think to myself, where am I going to put a drum set? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, no, it's, you know, uh, love all you drummers out there. You guys are amazing. So yeah, it's nothing <laughs> against you guys. Um, but, you know, one instrument that I've been considering taking up is cello. For some reason, that instrument really resonates with me. And, um, uh, you know, just to see if I can actually pick up a brand new instrument and actually make it sound good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, hey, um, but I still, you know, love my saxophone. I'm still on that every day and uh, finding out new ways and creative ways, you know, to bring you guys new music. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's 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 my primary focus. But I, I will, you know, start dabbling into maybe some new instruments, um, particularly probably the piano first. Um, I've been playing piano for a long time, but I'm actually starting to uh, take it a bit more serious than before so to speak. <laughs> so is there a, you have a single out and mm -hmm. a new album in the works maybe? Yes. You know, albums are, you know, the thing about albums, it takes a lot of time and, and, and a lot of effort. And, and it's, it's the interesting thing is, is um, I, I got a pretty big tour schedule coming up this year. I am going to try and get an album done at the very least. I do have a new single coming out. Um, haven't had a title of it yet, but it's going to be coming out in late March. So you guys can definitely expect new music from me. Um, that's going to follow up from um, Dance Again. I have been blueprinting a new record in my head for the past 12 months. <laughs> and uh, it's, you know, it's interesting, you know, these, these, these songs, these melodies, these ideas, and, you know, how I want you guys to feel with my music. It all starts, you know, just as a concept and, then we kind of bring it to life in the studio. So um, I'm really close to bringing something to life as, a, as a, an album. It is a due time. I don't want to put date on it, but it's definitely something you can expect. Well, I know you've been really busy and during COVID, all of a sudden, several books popped out <laughs> in 2020. And, um, <laughs> and you had actually had a book out before that called Zarya. Yes, Zarya was my very first novel. And um, it's actually my most popular novel. It's a teenage science fiction, young adult novel, teenage girl saves the world against an endooming um, a military leader from another planet with flying drones and skyscrapers and people that look like elves and wolves and all kinds of um, characters that I put in the story. Um, it's one of the, it's a futuristic story that takes place probably some thousand years in the future with the technology that they have and the technology that she uses. And she's a coder and she develops this AI airboard where she can fly on and she's running away from all of the uh, police bikes and <laughs> being shot at with laser beams. That's uh, <laughs> kind of... <laughs> Uh, uh, all of it rolled into one while it won a literary book award so uh <laughs> yes 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 you, it did get a, 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 people loved it and um you know i've been getting so much great feedback from the story you know and um it was a surprise you know i've been getting calls for interviews all over the world really to talk about um the novel so um you know i'm really excited and i'm also i'm finishing up um this is going to be really interesting when my single comes out to radio, I'll be just finishing episode two um, for you guys. We're putting that out for Zarya. Um, and that Zarya is going to now be a, a long series. And uh, you guys will be able to read the rest of the story, too. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> um, speaking of sequels, you are you had Time Lab, which I think yes. was October of 2020. That one, I think, believe you labeled it chapter one. Is there going to be more yes. chapters to that one also? Yes. In fact, chapter two is already done on that. Um, and I, I just uh, got to get uh, coordinated with my editor. And that that's also going to be coming out in the summer as well. And I'll try to, it's a lot of work, you guys. <laughs> but um, I'm going to try to get these going out in, in sort of a rhythm. Um, time lab was one of those stories that just kind of happened. Um, you know, when a story comes to me, I just say, you know, this is really interesting. I think people will really dig it. It's a, it's a story of a scientist from 2000 years ago who um, inadvertently hooks up with a scientist in current day, and they will be working together on a time machine. 
the, the uh, scientist um, who's a physicist, young, young uh, student, he's kind of a, you know, um, you would call him a jerk, <laughs> like a really smart, brilliant, intelligent jerk. That's basically his character. And, um, and uh, Sir Bernard, he's all the way from the time of Caesar. They think what he's doing is witchcraft. So, uh, <laughs> so um, he actually makes it to the future in San Francisco and meets up with um, um, Tyler, who everyone thinks is crazy. When he's telling people that he met someone from some long time ago, so they don't believe him. So that's that's time lab. <laughs> so you're taking all this creative energy that you have. Well, obviously you have creative energy in your music and pushing it out to something really completely different. I mean, science fiction, you know, the, all these mad scientists and coders and all that, you know, is there where does that come from? Do you have other hidden talents that we don't know about? <laughs> you know, you know, it's hard to say where it comes from. I, I do know that I have a crazy imagination. My mind runs 24 hours a day to the point to where I have insomnia. So um, <laughs> um, I, I will say um, I've always been into adventure. I love science fiction. I love science, actually. Um, you know, I thought that I was going to be a scientist. Actually, I didn't I, I was never planning on being a musician. I had this idea that I was going to be working in a lab, you know, doing science stuff, you know, ever since I was a young child, that was like my big, big dream until I, you know, went on the road and found out what it was like to play the saxophone in center stage. I kind of <laughs> left that behind. So maybe that has a lot to do with what's going on with some of these stories, but um, I, I feel like um, it allows me to, you know, give more of, of, of myself. I just love being creative and just um, just creating something out of thin air just just makes you you know just gives you this this really great feeling. So I'll always be writing. It's a newfound passion, by the way. So. A, a lot of I noticed a lot of musicians tend to have another creative outlet. Um, mm -hmm. John Lennon was drew and painted. Um, Ringo Starr, um, Herb Alpert is a sculptor. You know that mm -hmm. there's always mm -hmm. this other creative passion but writing seems to be unique you don't you seem to be unique in uh using that as your outlet yeah i mean it was the only thing that i could find to really get um my message across honestly was through literature um and it wasn't like i was this you know super smart <laughs> english guy you know when I was in school um but you know I found uh, a new passion in reading stories and and you know um just I found so many books that I started to read and I was like wow you know and just you know the thing is it's like if you like a movie you take a movie like uh The Martian with Matt Damon and you watch that movie and then you read the book like if you watch I've watched the movie first and then I read the book and the book just provided so much more than the movie with Matt Damon. And all of a sudden I'm using more of my imagination, reading the book version, than watching the movie, The Martian, you know? So that really kind of connected with me. And uh, that's what's making it so that I can continue to write and enjoy writing and finding all of this, you know, interesting adventure with writing stuff. You know, I love fiction. <laughs> but it's sort of similar to instrumental music because when you read the book, you get a picture in your mind. Nobody's feeding you a picture of what this character looks like and mm -hmm. uh, how how he is, or if it's a Martian, is he green, is he blue, is he, you know, what color is he? All, all, all this mm -hmm. stuff you kind of make up in your head. But mm -hmm. with an instrumental music, like especially uh, with your style, it brings a picture in your head. Like you're not mm -hmm. feeding us a picture like you're feeding us a film. You're feeding mm -hmm. us this this mood, this story, if you will. And mm -hmm. we're making up these ideas in our head about, well, what does that mean? And what yeah, does that yeah. mean to me? Yeah, yeah. You know, the music is, it really is from a writer's perspective and a producer perspective, it feels the same when I'm writing songs. Um, then when I'm writing books, it's like, I feel like I'm using the same energy, you know? Um, because, you know, a lot of times I, I'll have a plan on a song on where I want the song to go. And then sometimes I'll just 
let go and allow the song to just do what it's trying to do and just kind of get out of the way. <laughs> and all of a sudden, something completely new and unexpected happens um, in music that leads you somewhere else. And, and then people tend to, you know, they really love it and they, they're hearing it. And, you know, they're trying to, like you said, make up what all, what does all this mean? You know, what do he mean by that? And, you know, we're hoping that, you know, those notes that you guys are hearing, um, you can, you can make it mean whatever you want, <laughs> honestly. Um, so um, it's, you know, like I said, you know, it's playing the saxophone is different than writing, you know, too, because, um, you know, playing the saxophone in of itself is already uh, a passionate um, thing that I love to do and, and playing soulful and things like that. But when it comes to writing and putting something together so that you can perform on it it's a completely different mindset and it's a different energy and it's also a very different uh adventure <laughs> well it sounds like these stories are definitely adventurous you've also got one uh i guess that was the latest one called minor assassin minor assassin yes and that's uh one of my favorite books that one um came out just before time lab and that is actually more of a real world um, book, a, a real world story where um, a young boy through tragedy um, decides to take the law into his own hands to stop a human trafficking network. So this is more of a criminal suspense thriller, but it's high intense martial arts because um, the young boy travels to Japan for several years where he learns how to use all of these weapons and everything. So when he comes back to Las Vegas, not only does he, the main reason he wants to come back to Vegas is to rescue his sister who was captured, but he also wants to take out some bad dudes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, and that's, that's my, I, I call it minor assassin because, you know, he's 15, between 15 and 16. So he's young and um, he's taking out the people that for some reason, the police officers won't arrest or maybe they are be being pocketed some money or something like that. So, um, but, uh, but the detectives are um, following young John's trail in order to find some of these bad guys. So they, they can't find a bad guy, but they found him taking out one of the bad guys and he's leaving, you know, <laughs> a little trail. So um, very interesting story. I think people will love it. It's got, you know, you gotta have a stomach. It's got some blood in it. It's got a lot of action. <laughs> So if you're into that, minor assassin. So you're also sharing the love with other authors with your website, joinerbookclub.com? Yes, yes. In um, joinerbookclub.com, I started really just um, not more than six months ago. Um, and um, a lot of people have been reaching out to me about, you know, what is, you know, how do you become an author and what does it take and what's it like writing a story? And so I just wanted to um, put something together where people could search and find information about how to publish their own books, um, different information that I've done tons of research on about writing stories and putting stories together, um, all of this kind of stuff I put on my blog, blog and even inspiring things like um, staying motivated and um, you know, um, staying on track with your goals and stuff like that. So I started adding that to a newsletter and, and hopefully I keep up with that <laughs> as well. Cause that's also a lot of work and I don't want to overwork myself but my daughter is not going to like it. So, um, um, but yeah, Jordan book club is, 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 is a thing. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm hoping that, um, it becomes something that takes off that people really enjoy going to there to find inspiration for writing and even find, um, um, other stories and, books that they might not have uh, heard of, you know, um, I, I, every book that I read, I will try to do a review. I read a lot. Um, it's just crazy because, you know, my high school years, I did not read at all. <laughs> and even into um, graduate high school, I did not, I wasn't that much of a reader, but now all of a sudden I'm just, you know, shelling out book after book after book. Um, and I'm going to start doing reviews of some of the books too, so that people can check them out. On Joiner Book Club. <laughs> and then you also have JakeemJoiner.com, which is dedicated towards your musical career. Yes, yes. JakeemJoiner.com. That's where you're going to find my tour schedule, anything that's new that's happening related to me and my music. I also post my books and stuff up there as well. But Jackie Joiner, that's been my, you know, I've, I think I've had that domain now for going on 20 years now. Um, so um, that's where people know to find 
uh, uh, everything they want to know about my tour. But of course, they can also reach out to me on Instagram as well at Jackie Jordan. Okay, so here's a question for you since you're a science fiction fan. So some alien. So you're you're picture this. You're you're alone in the woods. There's nobody else around. It's just you. This alien lands from outer space somewhere, comes up to you <laughs> and has no idea about anything, right? Never, never seen an earthling before. And he says to you, hey, I'm from the pl planet Zimbi Baiwa or something, you know, whatever. He's got, he's from some outer space planet. And he says, I'm Zonk. And who are you? And you say you're Jakeem Joyner. And so he says to you, what's a Jakeem Joyner? <laughs> Go. <laughs> um, I would say that I am, um, I don't know, maybe I might do something silly and say I'm the president of the planet. And anything that you need to know, you can talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'm the first person that you met, hey, mate, why not? <laughs> but uh, if if he presses you a little bit, it's like, well, well, what does what does this president Jakeem Joyner do? Oh well, you know, I would say I'm a humanoid. No, I would say um, we're we're humans, you know, and we love to make music and create, and we love adventure. <laughs> I guess I, I will come up with something off the cuff. It depends on what else he says. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's definitely sounds like you may full of adventure <laughs> and liking to make music. And yes. um, if you want to catch Jakeem down in South Orange County at Sinopolis in Laguna de Gel at Meet Me at the Cinema, you can go to meetmeatthecinema.com. There's also information on jakeemjoiner.com. Don't forget the joinerbookclub.com. Yes. And thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks, AJ. This has really been fun. I can't wait to see everyone at the cinema on Valentine's. Yes, meet me at the cinema. Yes. 88.5 FM, KCSN, and KCSN HD1, Northridge, Los Angeles. KSBR and KSBR HD1, Mission Viejo. A service of California State University, Northridge, and Saddleback College. Member-supported public radio. Streaming on the web at 88.5 FM.org.